ruling of Fajr when the sun rises and ruling of Asr when the sun sets. So Fajr prayer, if you were to read that, for example, you woke up late and the sun is about to set, there's two minutes left. If the sun rises whilst you're still in namaz, your namaz will be invalid and it will have to be repeated later on. This is different to the ruling of Asr, which I mentioned to you a few minutes ago, that if you've started your Asr just before sun set and your namaz continues whilst the sun is setting, then your namaz will still be valid. So the diff there's a difference between Fajr and Asr. That in Fajr, when the sun rises and you're still reading, namaz will have to be repeated. But when it is Asr and the sun sets, then the namaz will not have to be repeated, although it is makruh tahrimi Because 20 minutes before the sun sets, it is makruh to read the, even the faraz of asr on that day. So you should read your asr 20 minutes before the sun sets. Only when in a desperate situation, you've delayed it that long, then you read your namaz during that time. And as for the other prayers, so for example, we have zohar left. We have Maghrib left and we have Isha left. If you read those prayers where one rakat you've read just before the time has ended and the other rakat is read after the time has finished, then the namaz will still be valid. So the conclusion is the only time where the salah will have to be repeated is in which prayer? A bit louder. Fajr, yeah, don't, don't whisper it. Say a bit louder, yeah? So I need to know if you guys are listening. I need to know if you guys are understanding. So which prayer? Fajr prayer. So in Fajr prayer, if the sun has risen and you are halfway through your prayer, the prayer will have to be repeated.